This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a free update to the Gridify UV tools. Rec UVs gets a huge speed boost and edges won't collapse no matter how close they are, so let's check it out. Normally, I'd release something like this as a hotfix, but because the tool has changed a bit and there are some new limitations, I decided to make an update video. So today we're just going to talk about the Rec UV tool. If you need to know how to use these tools and you're not familiar with them, then you can click in the top right hand corner of your screen now and go to the previous video, which has a great explanation of how to use all of the features of these tools. And thanks to Omar for reporting these bugs, which eventually led to the solution of figuring out how to improve the speed of the tool and the quality of the tool. OK, so we've got this shape here and it looks like it's 3600 verts roughly. Roughly, and we want to do the Rec UV on that. So I'm just going to run the tool here. Click that. And you can see the tools started to run, but because the vert count is like over a thousand or maybe over 2,000, I'm actually going to fast forward the video here because it's going to take so long. You probably thought Maya crashed if you're using this tool currently. It will finish, it's just super slow. And the reason that it's super slow is it's using the Maya built in straighten UVs tool, and it just takes a really long time to straighten the UVs. Okay, it finished, and that was unacceptably slow. I don't think anyone was willing to wait for that. Everyone probably would have thought Maya crashed by that point. And you can see the other problem here besides being super slow, you can see it actually failed to like gridify some of the UVs here. Some of the stuff collapsed back on itself. Some of the stuff just went all wonky and it like kind of worked in the center, but it's pretty buggy. And again, that's because Maya's built in straighten tool, it works on a tolerance. And so some of these UVs fell within that tolerance and some of them fell outside of that tolerance in it. So it just kind of created a big mess. So I'm just going to switch shelves back over to the Megapack shelf. This is where the updated tool is for this demonstration anyways. All the shelves will be updated once I release this. And I'm just going to click the button and see what happens. And boom, a huge speed improvement. Look at how much faster that was. And not only was it a big speed improvement, check out the quality. The quality is perfect. Look, there's nothing overlap. There's nothing weird going on everything is perfect and there's actually no chance of it collapsing onto itself or missing the thing that it needs to straighten so this is a way more robust solution and one million times faster in fact it's so fast now that you can actually use the rotate feature so if we click it once and it gridifies all of it and we don't like it being horizontal we can now click the button a second time and it goes vertical. And so now you can actually use that feature. Before we could only use that feature in the grid UVs button because it was fast enough, but now it's fast enough where we can actually use it in the rec UVs as well. So pretty cool. Another thing I'd like to mention is that both of these Gridify tools, they're not straightening tools. Some people have emailed me and they're like, oh, I don't understand what's going on. Why isn't it straightening or whatever? These tools don't actually straighten existing UVs. These are actually UV mapping tools. These take faces and they create new UVs that happen to be in the shape of a grid. So you can actually save a lot of time. You don't need to UV map your model first. Like I can delete a huge section of these UVs and just like whatever, mess these up, doesn't matter just for demonstration purposes. So it doesn't care about what your UVs are. It's actually going to generate you new UVs. And so you don't need to waste time unwrapping your model first. You can just do this to start. So I'm going to select that. We have no UVs there because I deleted them. So if you were trying to straighten it, there wouldn't even be any data at that point to do anything there. So let's click the rec UV going to do its thing and boom see so even though i didn't have uvs there it just magically generates them for you so you can save a lot of time not even needing to uv map those faces that you want to be straight you can of course also uv map portions of the model so if we just selected some faces here let's say so like let's grab i don't know let's get this here that and then we just wanted to you know gridify uv map that with the rec uv you're just going to click the button 
and boom, there you go. See, it's all nice and aspect ratio correct, so you don't get any stretchies. It just maps that part. So it actually applies UV mapping at the time of gridification rather than taking your existing shell and having to go through the whole thing and try to figure it out that way. So just something to be aware of. Now, if you have an object like this that is like cylindrical shaped, kind of, or fully cylindrical shaped, and it has no natural border edge, meaning it, the faces, if you select the ring of faces, wrap all the way around and touch each other, that's not going to work. And I'll show you what happens here. We'll just click the Rec UV button, and you'll see it all like gets all corrupted and collapsed back on itself. And the reason for that is it needs a border edge. So you can either, you know, go in here and delete that ring of faces but of course you don't want to do that so what you can do is you can select an edge to define as the cutting plane so what you want to do is you want to right click and go into multi mode and then you want to turn on the poly count display so you can see what's happening and then you want to select an edge that matches up with the border of the faces that you're going to do so i've got 17 edges selected i'm going to hold shift and i'm just going to double click to select all the faces and add that to the selection so I've got all the faces plus the edge. It's hard to see, and that's why I use this. So I have 663 faces and 17 edges, and that's going to be the border edge. And I click the Rec UV button, and boom, it goes through, and it uses that as the cutting edge. And so you can see that's where it put the edge. Now, you don't have to use that edge. You can use whatever edge you want. So right-click Multi, double-click to get the loop, and double-click to get the faces. Make sure you have some edges and some faces, and run the tool again. And boom, now we've got the seam there instead. So you have full control over how you want to gridify the UVs. So the new tool has some limitations, though, which I think are way worth it for how much better the quality is and how fast the tool is. So the new tool only works on a selection of faces that forms a square, a rectangle, or a strip. So for example, this is fine. That's a rectangle. and this is fine, that's a square-ish, and this is fine, that's a strip. But what isn't gonna work is if you give it something like this, that is a non-rectangle shape, it's got a tooth, or maybe it's got a couple teeth or something like that. What you wanna do is give it like that, or like that, or this, or this, that's fine, but this isn't gonna work. If you have like a couple selected, it only works on quads. And if you give it like a sawtooth pattern, it's not gonna work. It's also not gonna work if you give it like a stair step, like something like that. It has to be a square rectangle or a long, like a strip is just a rectangle. Another thing that will confuse the tool is if you give it a border edge taller than the faces you select. So for example, if I wanted to map these faces and I need to define a border edge, and I've gone into multi-mode, and if I've selected my border edge by double clicking and the edge is vertically taller than the selection of faces, that will also mess up the tool. So you need to deselect these edges that aren't actually cutting through the faces. I know that's a little bit annoying, but that was the only way that I could make the tool work. And like I said, I think this is a small price to pay for how fast the tool got and uh, the fact that there's no chance of overlapping any of those UVs as it straightens everything. So now that we've got our faces selected and our three edges, one, two, three edges and all the faces, then we can run the tool and boom, get that in two seconds and it's perfectly laid out and it's all aspect correct. All these are spaced correctly and that is great. If you've already purchased the Mega Script Pack, the UV Mapping Pack, or the Single Script, this will be a free update, so you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV Mapping Pack, or you can get it in the Mega Script Pack, so take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a wonderful day.